Hi, this is Janice from Space to Relax and the video you're about to watch is a replay of a live class I taught on Zoom. These classes are free of charge for everyone to join, so please invite your family and friends. They're suitable for beginners and those of you with more Qigong experience. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then please don't forget to hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I hope you enjoy the class. Um, so I'm just going to sit here and just chat to you for a couple of minutes before I go back to the wall there and go through the Qigong that I have to share with you today. Um, but just to introduce what's happening today, I'm going to show you some Qigong, which can help to smoothly help you to process the emotion of fear in your body and in your mind. And it was a great suggestion actually that Louise, my technical specialist, amazing whiz kid lady came up with because I realized that we hadn't actually done a specific class around the emotion of fear. And for those of you who are watching right now, I'm sure there isn't any one of you out there that hasn't felt fear of some description at some point in your life. And it's not really, this class is not really about dealing with that kind of immediate fear where you might see yourself in danger and have to quickly get out of danger and run away. It's more the kind of chronic fear that's underlying and pervasive and ongoing, which can deplete us in many aspects of our health. So that kind of chronic fear is often stuff that we might not even be aware of. It, could, it takes the form of kind of ongoing stress, ongoing worry about things, ongoing kind of issues that make us a little bit fearful, um, but we're not even fully aware of it necessarily. And I wanted to do something with you today around that because I've noticed since I've been back in my Chinese medicine and acupuncture clinic that although people coming into me haven't outright said that they're fearful about what's going on with COVID-19 and the pandemic and their job prospects and you know, their health and what might happen. There's this underlying kind of unsaid pervasive air about the place when I'm working in my clinic. And so if you feel that that's going on, and even if you don't feel that it's going on, you can maybe pick it up you know, it's not within yourself, you can maybe pick it up from other people as well and detect it around and amongst other people. So if you think about this and think about when you feel fearful and how you feel, often we can end up with various kind of physical issues. We can notice an increase in our heartbeat, maybe palpitations, feelings of panic, feelings of worry or anxiety. We might find if we're fearful that we're not sleeping properly, that our, dis our sleep is disturbed in some way, and then we wake up the next morning feeling exhausted. We might also find that we're short of breath, that we can't catch our breath. The breath seems much more shallow and less efficient, so that's another physical symptom that can occur. And also we may be, feel just kind of exhausted on many different levels, both physical, physically in terms of how much energy and how much motivation we've got, but also mentally in terms of being able to focus and able to concentrate on what we're doing. Also when we're fearful and we're exhausted in this particular way, <clears throat> we can often find that our creativity is stifled. We don't come up with so many great ideas. We're not so creative. It kind of takes the joy out of our lives. So there are many ways in which fear can affect us on a physical and on a mental level. In terms of Chinese medicine, fear is the associated emotion of the kidney system. So the kidney system is where our focus is at today. And what the kidney system does in terms of Chinese medicine is it obviously governs things to do with getting rid of urine, getting rid of waste. That's its function and what we know in terms of Western medicine. It's also affected by the cold. So coming into the winter, it's very important to protect our kidneys and our lower back area to prevent our kidney chi or energy becoming depleted. And again, kidney is, is, as I mentioned there, about creativity. Your kidney is responsible for that creative function that we have mentally. So if our kidney energy is depleted, we don't feel quite so creative. 
it is also connected very much with your sense of will, with your will and your, your perseverance um, to do things, to get on with stuff and follow through with projects and follow through with ideas. So the kidney is your, it's your foundation, it's your root of everything. Um, in Western medicine terms, it would be to do with the genetic components in, um, in terms of what you pass on to your children. So it's very closely connected with sexuality. Uh, fertility, libido as well. So kidney plays a hugely important role in terms of Chinese medicine. Um, now, there's a lot going on there, but what's great in terms of Qigong is that we can do a very few simple Qigong exercises in order to benefit and to nourish our kidney system. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today in terms of the Qigong exercises that I have to share. And please stay on till the end of this video because I've got a really special exclusive announcement for those of you who are just here on the live classes and showing an interest in watching the live replays if you're not able to be present because you're working at the moment um, or there's a time zone issue. But for those of you who have signed up for watching these live classes, whether by replay or as we are right now, stay on till the end because I've got something special for you. Okay, so we're going to start with the lesson today by finding a comfortable standing or sitting position. So many of you have done this before. Those of you who are new to the class today and new to joining me for these classes, just look down at your feet and check that your feet are about shoulder width or hip width distance apart. Also make sure that your feet are parallel. So your toes are, are pointing out towards the front. So we don't want toes pointing out to one side or the other. Make sure also that you feel very evenly balanced between the balls of your feet and the heels. So maybe just rocking backwards and forwards a little bit if you're standing. Now, if you're sitting and you're preferring to sit for this practice, again, you want the feet to be hip width distance apart and you want to feel very well grounded. So you want, again, that even distribution of weight between the balls of the feet and the heels. If you're sitting, make sure you're sitting up straight. Either you want a straight back chair so that you feel like your back is really well supported, or if you want to sit on the front third of your chair and support your own back and just make sure that you're nice and straight in the spine. For those of you standing, just check that there's a little bend in the knees so your knees are not locked out, but they're not bent so much that you're feeling any tension in the thighs. Also checking that the pelvis is tucked under. So you want to almost kind of tuck, tuck your bottom in behind you and the pelvis then moves forwards, lifting up in the abdomen. And you find that as you do that, the lower back area opens up. You feel a little bit of ease in that spinal area. Just shrugging the shoulders up and down a couple of times. Just checking that you feel all kind of nice and relaxed in the shoulders and maybe shaking out the arms as well. Check also that there's lovely length in the back of the neck. And the way in which you do that is just tucking the chin back towards the throat. And as you draw the chin backwards, you'll find that you get this lovely extension in the back of the neck as though the head, is built, the head and the neck are being pulled upwards. And now just closing the mouth, closing the eyes, bringing a smile to the corners of your mouth, and breathing in and out through the nose. So we're starting our practice with abdominal breathing. The breath for Qigong is always in and out through the nose, unless you're using any specific sounds as part of your Qigong practice. If you have any sinus issues or you have a cold, you may find you need to use the mouth a little for breathing, but ideally you want breath to be smooth, soft and silent as you breathe in and out through the nose. And just as you're breathing now, start to bring the inhalation a little bit further down into the lower belly. And again, for those of you who are new to Qigong, you might want to place one hand or both hands on the lower belly area, flat below your belly button. And as you breathe in, feel the belly expand, feel the hands pushing outwards. That expansion though is in all directions. So imagine that you've got a balloon inside your lower abdomen. And as you breathe in, 
that balloon is expanding in all directions. So you feel it pushing the hand out, but it also expands to the sides of the body and then back towards the spine and to that kidney area, which is what we're going to be working with today. As you breathe out, feel that imaginary balloon shrinking and the belly getting smaller and then letting go of that exhalation by consciously seeing it disappearing out of your nostrils in your mind's eye. So just settling into your practice with your eyes closed, breathing using your abdominal breath, relaxing the body. So feeling now into any areas of tension that you might feel in the physical body. And once you've identified an area or areas where you might be a little bit uncomfortable, each time you breathe out, I'd like you just to think of releasing, relaxing, and letting go in that area. So that area of tension, softening with each exhalation. Settling your body into your practice. And also, relaxing the mind. So we can do that and we can ease any mind chatter that might be distracting us just by bringing the attention to the breath. So if you find any stray thoughts coming into your mind, which you probably will, it's quite a common thing, then just Bring your mind gently back to the breath and even say to yourself, I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out. I'm breathing in, I'm breathing out. And by saying these words to yourself, this can help you to stay focused on your breath and not be distracted by any thoughts coming into your mind that might take you away from your practice. And gently now opening your eyes. And what I'm gonna ask you to do next is a little kind of balancing exercise. It's one of the eight pieces of brocade method. So there's eight movements in this series called the eight pieces of brocade, which is a very well-known Qigong exercise, which I teach in my Space to Relax online membership program. And this is number eight. And it's probably the simplest one, but it's a very powerful exercise. So I just want to show you this one in order to help us to work with and work through any fear that we might be experiencing either consciously or subconsciously and process that fear in the healthiest way possible for us. So we're not trying to put a lid on it, we're not trying to make it disappear, we're just working through it and allowing our body to let go and release it in the healthiest possible way. So the whole idea with Qigong is that when everything is open and free-flowing in terms of energy or qi flow, then there is nowhere really that the emotions can get stuck and become lodged. They have to kind of keep passing through. So they arise, but they pass through us, and we are able to let go of them in that healthy way. So this is a really great letting go of fear exercise. So what I'd like you to do now is... If you can, if, you're, if you've got the balance to do it while you're standing, and if not, you can do this while you're sitting as well, is I want you to come up onto your tiptoes. So if you're sitting, you'll find this much easier, but just lifting the heels off the ground and coming up, and then just coming down. So just practicing that, just to make sure that you feel nice and stable. Just practicing the movement a few times, coming up and down. Okay, and now we're going to do it with the breath. So as you come up, breathing in. And as you come down, breathing out. Breathing in. Breathing out. 
breathing in, breathing out. Okay, now this time, I want you to do it with a little bit more force as you come back down onto the heels. So breathing in, now I want you to drop down with a more forceful breath and more of a kind of just let everything go kind of movement. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, and the breath is still in and out through the nose. Breathing out through the nose. Okay, now just close your eyes for a moment. And as you're standing there, just think of anything that may be causing you fear or worry or anxiety because they can often be a kind of a cover for fear. And this time as you breathe in, you're going to inhale and then breathing out and dropping down onto the heels. I want you to think of that fear going down and out through the heels, through the soles of the feet, into the floor or the ground. And we're just going to do that six times. So you can do it with your eyes closed, which you might find a little bit more difficult in terms of balance, or you can do it with your eyes open. Just whatever comfortable for you. But have that idea that each time you drop down, the fear is traveling down through your body, out, down through the soles of the feet. So breathing in, and releasing as you breathe out. And just keep going like that. Last one. Okay. Now, just closing the eyes for a moment and know that by doing that very simple Qigong exercise, you've released fear on some level. And when we release anything from our body that we don't want, what happens is we create a little bit of space. That leaves behind a bit of space in our body or in our mind for the healing to come in. So for healing to happen, we need space. So we first need to kind of get rid of the clutter and then we can bring all the nice things or the healing thing in. So now what I'd like you to do is come up onto your tiptoes again. And as you're breathing in, and what I want you to think of is breathing in peace, calm, gentleness, and courage or something else that you that comes to your mind which can replace that fear, which can fill that space that the fear has left behind. And then as you breathe out, don't worry about getting rid of the fear anymore, just focus on the one thing of bringing in the really good stuff. So as you breathe out, you're just relaxing and letting go. So six of those now, so breathing in, breathing in, whatever you feel is healing for you. And breathing out through the nose. And five more times. <laughs> Filling the space. And now keeping the eyes closed as you're standing or sitting. And in your mind's eye now, see that peace, calm, gentleness, and courage spreading throughout your whole body. Spreading from the lower abdomen area, this area we call Dantian, which is our chi or energy center, and from there, circulating out, spreading down through the legs, up through the rest of the body, into the shoulders, down the arms, into the hands, up into the head. So spreading throughout the whole body and the mind to give you a sense of ease.
And now gently opening the eyes. Just give your hands a little shake out. And then we're going to turn around now and show you a quick kidney massage, which we did in the class last week, I think. So I'll put the link next to that class because there's a lot more detail in there. Um, but I'm going to turn around. And so all you're going to do is use either the backs of your hands, just here, the backs of the wrists, or you can use the heels of the hands. Whichever will give you the most pressure and the most and is the easiest for you to use. So if you have any wrists or joint problems, you just go with the easiest one for you. And you're going to place your hands in the kidney area, in the lower back, and just literally rock up and down vigorously so you're creating lots of heat in that area, bringing more chi, more blood flow, more circulation into the whole of that kidney area to nourish and revitalize it, and thereby have a beneficial effect on being able to process and healthily manage any fear that may be underlying. So I'm going to turn around, I won't speak now, I'm just going to demonstrate, just follow along with me. And then just shaking the hands off. So you might find that is a really nice kind of warming exercise for the lower back. It's also great for anyone with lower back issues because the kidney is very much um, connected to the kidney system with bones and teeth, but lower back and backs of knees and kind of down the backs of the legs especially. So that will really invigorate the kidney area for any of you with any lower back issues as well. The next thing I'm going to show you is an acupressure point, which is a kidney point, and it's on the sole of the foot. Just bear with me a second, and I'll come up to you now. Okay, so those of you who are standing now, just try and find yourself a seat where hopefully you can grab hold of the sole of your foot. Um, if you can't, just watch and take, take note of where I'm showing you what the point to massage, and then you can maybe follow along with it later in the replay. Now, so I can get my foot up to the camera here. Okay, here's the sole of my foot. So we're going to work with kidney one, which is called Yong Chuen in Chinese uh, medicine. And kidney one is on the sole of the foot and it's, in the, it's on the midline of the foot. So this is the midline here, running down, running down the center. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to come down. So you, what you're doing is you're taking from the base of the toes to the heel, you want the first, the top third, so you go down about a third, so you're really just coming over the ball of the foot in the midline and you're pressing a point there. Now press that point and you just have a little feel around and what you'll probably find is that there's an area that's a little bit tender. So in the acupuncture clinic to have this needled, it's not a nice point to have needled, it's quite a tender one. Um, so this point, kidney one, is a great point for bringing down any kind of agitation in the mind. Any, it, it's a really good grounding, kind of rooting point. It's really good to, to help you feel like you're, you've got your roots going down into the ground from the soles of your feet. It will bring down any heat in the head, any heat in the heart system. So the kidney system will help to cool down the heart system. For those of you with any problems with insomnia or sleeping issues, massage this point, both feet, just before you go to bed and it will really help you to get to sleep at night. So what you can do is just circle in one direction and then in the other. And as you circle, it can be a little bit tender, so don't kill yourself with it, but just do it so that you do feel something. You want to be able to feel that there's something going on there. So this is a really great point to use in order to help to revitalize and put a little bit more chi into the kidney system but also it's very calming it's very grounding and uh, just a lovely lovely point and when you're practicing qigong and you're standing and making connection with the ground then this is a really nice point to visualize as though you're kind of growing roots down through this point into the ground so then swap to the other side 
So just finding the point. So you're just literally coming over the kind of mound of the ball of the foot there and then going in to the center there and massaging. So you may want to hold the foot in a different position, whatever suits you. Some people would sit with the leg crossed, one leg crossed over the other. I'm just showing you <laughs> with my foot out in front of me for demonstration purposes. Okay. And then releasing again. So now just as you are there, just sitting, placing the, uh, the hands just anywhere on your lap, just somewhere where it's comfortable. Check you've got that lovely straight back and length in the back of the neck. And then closing the eyes, closing the mouth. And coming back to your abdominal breathing. Smiling, softening the face, releasing any tension. And now with your feet flat on the floor or the ground, feel into your feet, even as a result of that very quick massage of the kidney one points there. I can feel the soles of my feet buzzing. I can feel the connection of that point of that part of my foot with the ground, almost like it's more open. So very importantly in Qigong, you want to be observing how you feel after an exercise or a practice, because this is where you see all the magic effects going on. This is what you are noticing in terms of qi flow. So now just placing one hand flat over the lower belly with the other hand directly on top of that. And then just circling by rubbing the belly in one direction. And then circling in the other direction, keeping the eyes closed. Bringing the hands together in front of you and rubbing the palms until they get really hot. And then placing one palm over each eye, fingers facing up towards the sky or the ceiling, feeling the heat from the hands going into your eyes, through the back of the eyes. So nourishing the eyes and then going in to nourish the mind. And to end the practice now, bringing yourself gently back into the room by giving your face a little rub, a little massage, face wash, and as you do that, gently opening the eyes and just relaxing for a moment. So that's a very simple Qigong routine in order to help manage the feelings of fear that you might be experiencing. It's very, very simple. There's a lot more in terms of Qigong exercises that you can be using in order to nourish and revitalize the kidney system to deal with fear, to deal with sexuality, back problems, urinary issues, all kinds of functions which would be associated with the kidney. So there are many, many exercises to choose from. Many of those are in the space to relax. A membership program that some of you are already members of um, but these ones are really really powerful exercises just to get things started and to get you going and if you feel even a tiny bit better after practicing what we've just done there today then you've done a really great job and so give yourself a pat on the back for that because it's just a case of simply following along using simple movements paying attention to your breathing and focusing your mind very gently on what you're doing, but being comfortable and relaxed at the same time. So you shouldn't feel any tension, there shouldn't be any stress or worry about whether you're doing it right or wrong. A really good way in which to know whether you're doing Qigong correctly or not is to ask yourself the question, do I feel comfortable and relaxed? And if the answer is yes, then you're doing it right. If the answer is no, you might want to change something to get yourself into a position or to, use a different way of breathing or just take a little break so that when you come back to the Qigong, you are comfortable and relaxed when you practice. 
So that was just going through, as I said, some simple Qigong. We started with abdominal breathing and getting the correct Qigong stance or sitting position. We then moved on to using the standing on tiptoes exercise, firstly to release the fear down through the ground, but then also to bring into that empty space lovely peace and calm, gentleness and courage and whatever it was that you felt you needed to, to bring in, to bring about in healing. And from there, we then did the kidney back massage and then massaged using an acupressure point, the kidney one point on the sole of the foot. So I do hope you enjoyed that class today. And what I was, as I said at the beginning, I have a special announcement today. Some of you are already Space to Relax members in my membership site of the 50 Qigong lessons, which you get, which is much, much more detailed as most of you who are on the call today would know. But for those of you who are not members of Space to Relax, I have a very special offer for the first 20 people to join. And that offer is valid up until Monday evening at midnight or until the first 20 places are filled. So I'm going to put the link next to that offer in the replay of this video. So please look out for it in your email, which will go out probably in the next two or three hours. And that offer is to get space to relax for €9.99 for the first month and then for half the listed website price after that. So if you'd like to join us, if you'd like to take your Qigong learning to the next level, it's a much, much more detailed, very structured course. It's one video per week for 50 weeks. And what you get there also with that video is a PDF file and an audio file to go along with that. So you can build up a library of exercises, which you can then start making into a Qigong routine. During that year, you also very importantly get support from me. So I spend a lot more time with my Space to Relax members than I would with anybody else because I've only got so much time to go around. And my members I know are really committed to learning Qigong. So you get personal, more personal, individual healthcare advice from me, either in our secret members only Facebook group, or if you're not on Facebook, we can do it by email. There's no problem there. So if you'd like to join Space to Relax, look out for the link that I'm going to send out to you in your email, which will be in the next two or three hours. Um, I really hope that some of you would like to join. And uh, for those of you who are not in a position to join, if you feel it's not for you right now, and you'd like to continue with the live classes, I'm here every Thursday at 4 p.m. Irish time. If you do like these classes, I donate half the proceeds of any donations to the ICU nurses in my local hospital. So the donation link is always next to the video. And if you have any questions at all, please post them either into the free Facebook group, which is Space to Relax Free Qigong Group, or send me an email to uh, Janice at space to relax.com. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions, please get in contact. I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this Qigong lesson, then there are four things you can do right now. The first thing is to head over to my website, which is spacetorelax.com, and there you'll see that you can join up for a free three-part video series. The second thing you can do is click the link next to this video to sign up for the live Qigong classes, as I teach these once a week. The third thing you can do is go over to Facebook, if you're on Facebook, and look for Space to Relax Free Qigong Group. That's my free group where you can post any questions and please do join the group. And the fourth thing is if you're watching this video on YouTube, then please hit the red subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos from me. I really hope you enjoyed this lesson and look forward to seeing you in the next video.